This is Terry Blake. I'm here with Jeff Comport, Senior Vice President of Lawson Product Management. And Jeff, we're here to talk about Lawson's announcement issued today on Lawson Cloud Services. So if you can help our audience, first of all, with a very basic question about, let's focus on what we've announced and, and why we are putting these particular products out into the market. It's back in November, we announced at our investor conference that uh, in the future we'd be moving towards announcements related to the cloud. How can Lawson begin to provide applications that customers can use from the cloud? Today what we're doing with our announcement is showing that we're offering a catalog, a portfolio of applications that now are going to be available on the cloud. What we've announced is a partnership with Amazon to make our products available on the Amazon Elastic Cloud. Where we're focused is saying, let's cut across the board. Let's offer not only our uh, talent management applications, uh, expanded human resource system available on the cloud, but also full function ERP for services industries, our S3 applications, and for manufacturing oriented companies, our M3 applications. We're targeting these applications at mid-sized companies, companies who would like the benefit of full function ERP, of full function human resources, but in the past may not have had the internal capability with regard to infrastructure to take on this level of, of application. Now that's within reach of these kinds of customers and they have it as an alternative to lower end applications coming from competitors that don't have the kind of function or features that we're going to have. By offering these applications in the cloud, we're able to free customers from the need to manage infrastructures themselves, as well as provide the flexibility to size the amount of application horsepower that's needed and change it over time with, uh, as customers may need. Additionally, we're also introducing flexible pricing. Subscription pricing, which pulls together right to use, maintenance services, and application management services all into one monthly price so that a customer is able to have the experience of cloud pricing and cloud platform uh, all together uh, to show at a price point that's comparable to what we're seeing from competitors, they can have full function ERP. Now we'll also make these applications available for traditional pricing terms, so perpetual licenses, and still make Amazon Cloud Hosting available for these, for these applications. So this gives the best of both worlds of being able to price flexibly, but have the flexibility of not having the infrastructure requirements of these applications. Now I know, Jeff, that other traditional ERP companies have gone down this path, and how is Lawson able to make this work as compared to what others have experienced in offering cloud products? Well, I think the big difference here is that Amazon makes a big difference. Amazon ha gives us access to a vast array of shared resources. It really is cloud, in essence, that we've got tens of thousands of servers that are available, vast amounts of storage. These are pools that we draw from in a multi-tenant fashion to be able to allocate the capacity that we need to individual customers and be able to adjust it over time. This is very different than what we've seen from SaaS vendors who have attempted to build their own infrastructures or create things that are tied to their own technology where they're limited by what resources they're able to deploy and focus on their, on their customers. Because we're letting Amazon be the infrastructure provider and using their vast array of shared resources, we're able to put applications on top, focus our investment and energy on the applications, on how we bring them to market and how we manage the applications to the customer, knowing that we can create unique situations for each customer and deploy these, uh, these applications. Okay, so Lawson remains an application vendor. Amazon is providing the infrastructure. What are some of the other unique qualities or the differentiators in this particular Lawson Cloud Services offering? Let me turn back to pricing for a moment. One of the things we're able to do is we're relying very heavily on virtualization, taking our applications and be able to wrap them up so that they can be stood up, instantiated, deployed very rapidly. We're speaking in a number, a number of hours for the technical deployment of, a, of an application. And when necessary, uh, stopped, restarted, uh, put in uh, higher capacity kinds of environments, or if customers need test environments or want to test drive an application, that they're able to do that, something that we're not seeing from other, from other vendors out in the marketplace. Very importantly, on the technical side and on the pricing side, Lawson is offering the option so that for a fee, a customer can take a subscription license 
and convert it at the end of the term to a perpetual license. And they can take that perpetual license for their applications and if they choose, come off of the cloud and move into a private environment. Now when we look at competitors out in the marketplace that have tied their applications to their unique technology, there's no chance for them to take the applications private. Is you're a slave to that infrastructure that's proprietary and that, that vendor has built in the cloud. Not really the cloud, is it? Well, by using Amazon, what we're able to do is create this portability between on-premise and the cloud and potentially other cloud environments uh, in the future. Very differentiating.